welcome to the gallery. My name is Lipstick Lex and I am a lipstick and kiss artist. Well, a kiss artist is unlike any other artist you've probably seen. Basically, what I do is I create paintings, fine art, utilizing lipstick and my kisses. And I create beautiful works of art. The same way I kiss my children is the way that I kiss my canvas. It's just, I don't know, simple. To me, the kiss print is so symbolic of love, it's self-love, it's beauty, it's personal empowerment. So that's what the kiss print symbolizes and that's really what I try to embrace through all of my artwork. Hi, I'm Travis. I travel the world producing incredible stories. The world is full of unique people, places, and animals. And it's my goal to make compelling videos that show that. Follow me on this journey to uncover amazing stories from around the world. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to iWonder TV. All of my artwork, it's about 95% lipstick. So the odd pieces do have paint, or I might use spray paint as a background, but um, everything else for the most part is all lipstick. My inspiration for a lot of my pieces will come from, honestly, there's a lot of different areas. I love pop art. I've always been very drawn to pop art. I love portraiture. I love creating faces. I love creating people. What's kind of cool about all of the kisses and the layers and layers of the kisses is that when you're far away from the painting, a lot of people look at it and just be like, oh, that's a cool painting, that's great. But then you say, but get up close and see how it's made. And then when they get up close and they see that it's actual kisses that are building the image, that's when the wow kicks in. So it's kind of like pointillism, if you will, but with kisses. But I really love creating people that have impacted me or influenced me in some, somewhere along my own personal journey. And I, I love music. My husband's a musician. We embrace music in our house. I have a lot of musicians that I paint. This is my Club 27 series, and I'm really, really proud of this series. I have only done three so far, but I've got a few more to go. Club 27 is a group of people. They're all famous singer, songwriter, musicians that all unfortunately died at the young age of 27, and it was due to either substance abuse or suicide. And a few people on that list, just to name a few, is Amy Winehouse, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, Brian Jones, the list goes on. There are quite a few of them and I want to be able to do a handful of them as part of my series because it's my way of being able to put love back into an otherwise very sad and tragic scenario. I've got three more that I'm gonna do. I wanna do Kurt Cobain next, he was also 27. Um, Brian Jones and Jim Morrison. So, and the list goes on. There's honestly so many of them and it's just this really crazy phenomenon, but it plays a tribute and a memorial to them, but it also serves a reminder to us the importance of self-love and self-respect and taking care of ourselves. I've never known how many kisses it takes to create a painting. I have never counted, even though it's a, it's a question that I'm asked all the time, but I have recently just started a very large painting. It's actually the largest one to date, and on this one, this is the piece where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna count. For the first time, I am actually counting, so I invested in one of these handy little clickers, and, um, Basically, I do a kiss, I click. I do a kiss, I click. I do a kiss, I click. So from just this part of the tree down to here, doesn't look like much, but this has already been 2,121 kisses. So needless to say, I've got my work cut out for me because I've got a long way to go. So I'm predicting this one might be around 10,000 or so kisses. So. 
stand by. I will let you know. A very common question I receive often is, do I ever get tired of kissing and do my lips get sore? The answer to that is yes and yes. When I started this lipstick kissing art process, it was really important to me to like really have the whole thing made up with kisses. But I was creating this rule for myself, which was really honestly silly because nobody writes my rules for me of how I create except for me. And it became more of a job and it was laborious because it is, it's a labor of love. So the kissing portion of what I do is obviously the wow factor. It's what makes my art memorable and impactful and it makes it stand out, but I'm still a human and I like to work with my hands. So I really enjoy just the process of drawing with the lipstick. So I just love working with it almost like an oil pastel. And I just draw and I smudge and I smear and I blend. And it's just, this is, to me, this is the therapeutic part of the painting. The kisses, not as much, but the kisses are what people want to see, so. I've, I've worked the better part of my adult life to be able to achieve something like this. I've always known that I wanted to have a proper space for me to work and showcase my artwork, sell my artwork, but also a place that I could invite people into and, and not have that typical highbrow stuffy feeling when you walk into a gallery. On my door, it says, not your ordinary gallery or artist. And, and that's exactly it. Like what I'm doing in here is not ordinary and this is not your ordinary gallery. I literally make my art with love to spread the love. So it's this idea of just being able to put out something visually for people. It's a feast for our eyes. It feeds our soul. It makes us happy. It makes us feel good when we look at it. And that's something that makes me feel good. And I want to be able to do something that's going to make other people feel good as well.